Guess what? I am giving away a set of the 2022 calendars. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them here, y'all. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm crafting my stash. I'm trying to get my things lowered. I'm doing things like I'd start projects and then um, not finish them. And they've just been sitting laying around, but I need to get them done. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I was so very blessed to have two beautiful friends, Maxine from uh, Maxine Loves Craft and Missy from Crafty Co. that sent me, um, both of them sent me a set of these calendars because I wasn't able to get them this year. So, um, I'll have those links in my description box below too. So anyway, and I just, I don't want to keep storing them and not getting around to using them. Because, I mean, I've, I've already been using the ones that, you know, the other set. And I'm sure they won't mind. But we're going to give these away. And y'all, in, in the comment, or description, whatever, in the comment section, just put um, the word calendars if you want to be entered to win them. So, anyway, yeah. Again, one more thing, y'all. I will be announcing the winner to the calendars on July 15th of 2022. I don't want anybody to get confused and think that there's going to be a giveaway of the 2022 calendars in 2026. But anyway, I love y'all. And I got one thing left to say. Mary Lee, say it with me. Let's get on with the video. But today, I'm collaborating with my friend Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs. Y'all, she is phenomenal. She should be way bigger than what she is. And I love her. And her DIYs are just, just awesome. They really, really are. And I told her I was jealous. I didn't want to collaborate with her today because I saw her DIYs and they were better than mine. Anyway, let's talk more about Brenda later. I love y'all. And her channel will be in my description box. Don't forget that. Okay, y'all, I know you're like, shut up already and get on with the video. But anyway, I had a lot to say. That that first part just creeping in. Anyway, y'all, I got that po that pole, that bowl from the Dollar Tree for 50 cents because it was missing a lid. And that is a cake pan. Now, I was going to use that little lid right there. It came off a can of cashews, but I'm not going to. And I've got to show you all these. Look, I think they come from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And it's funny because they had a K, a J, a C, my husband's name. You know, my honey. My honey, his name's Chris. Anyway, but I didn't get his name, his initial, just mine. Anyway, so I cleaned those down with alcohol, and I'm going to sand them down real good. And I'm going to take Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint, and I'm going to give them both two coats. Now, I take that little box here from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint it too. And we'll take the hardware off and always save those hangers because we use them. And I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Y'all, I saw um, J Money make one of these two years ago, and I've wanted to make one ever since then. Then Wendy from White Sparrow Living made one, and then Sammy Unicorn Dust Design. So, y'all go check all theirs out. But I got that dowel rod. It came off uh, of another DIY that's later in the video. And I actually glued two of them together. But I end up cutting it down to eight inches. But I'm just checking my bowl here to find a center. And I'm going to take my hot knife there or my heat tool, whatever it is. And I poked holes in it. That way it's easier to cut around. I cut inside the line that I traced because I want that to fit tight. And I don't want it like, I don't want a lot of room on the outside of it. You see? Just like that. Anyway, and I'm going to take Aileen's tack glue, and look, y'all, I, I put it on there, but it dries clear, so you don't have to worry about it, and I even put it on the outside. Um, I really want to make sure that bowl stuck to that sign, so now I'm just going to take hot glue, and I'm going to glue my little dowel rod down inside the thing. I don't know if yeah, I've cut it. And remember, it's 8 inches. And now I'm taking hot glue and going around that. Not that I'm afraid it won't hold because I want it to look like welded. And I think you can get that effect with hot glue. Now, here I take um, a super glue gel. Y'all don't do this. I'm telling you. And hot glue. And I glue a little bit of hot glue. I glue my cake pan on my little scale there. You know, I thought it was going to be fine. It was hot. But y'all know. Anyway, and started... It fell apart. <laughs> so, then I go in with Gorilla Glue. Um, it's the equivalent E6000 and hot glue. And I glue it together again. And this time, I'm going to put some weight on it and let it dry. So, anyway, I decided to take Elephant Chalk Paint. 
And I'm going to distress. I know everybody, you y'all, y'all don't have to distress yours. Leave it uh, gleaming white or purple if you want purple. But I take that um, caulk from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going around the edge there with a hot glue. I'm trying to make it like look like one piece. You know what I mean? I know we got that little flip up on the bowl, but I'm hoping we can ignore that. <laughs> anyway, and it fell off again. My thing fell off again. So, you see this glue right here? I got it at the Dollar Tree, and it's come some kind of cement. So, as I'm cleaning the hot glue off that, I take that cement and hot glue, and I glued my cake pan on my dial rod, and it stayed. Now, there was my cashew lid. It's a bit smaller, and it was hard to, to print out on the computer. I just typed in uh, antique scale face, and... Uh, to get the right size you needed. But I got that little circle thing there from the Michaels. There's the SKU number. It was only 99 cents. I have like four of them. Had them for a minute. And I painted the entire thing in, well, I meant to paint it in white, but I accidentally painted it in uh, the that one, the off-white when everybody used plaster. Sorry, y'all, from Waverly. So I'm going to take a little bit, very, very light amount of Mod Podge, y'all. And make it even as possible. And I have me a piece of saran wrap ready because that paper is thin. You know, people say it's paper thin. Well, there you go. So, it was like a napkin. And I wanted to make sure it didn't have any wrinkles. And I just kept rubbing it down with my um, saran wrap, y'all. And it is perfect. Um, well, nothing's perfect. But look at that. No wrinkles at all. It looks so good, y'all. I'm so proud of that. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, so, uh, so, on the bottom, I didn't show it, I took one of those square planks from the Dollar Tree, there's a skewed number of that, and all I did, because it's not real, I just, obviously, I just painted it white, and, and inside the box white, and glued it to that little round thing, yeah, and I took, um, what did I do, I accidentally separate it? Well, I took um, hot glue and Aileen's tacky glue and glued the face of my scale on and y'all. And I put rust on it. And uh, look, y'all, is that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I think it looks real. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. Y'all, this is my friend Brenda from Rustic and Lay. She is beautiful and she is so sweet and so very talented. I mean... Look at all the little stuff here. I clicked that little flag. I love that flag when she made it. And, I mean, look at it. You, and talk about farmhouse. Oh, my goodness. She, look at that. Isn't that adorable? She does the most beautiful farmhouse stuff. I know y'all will not be disappointed if you go check her out. Please do. Go check out her video. Look at her beautiful stuff. Just, just give her a chance, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you'll love her as much as I do. She is so sweet, and she is just... She's just amazing, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Okay, now, right here, y'all, I gotta explain something to you. This is something I started a long time ago, too. You see, you know those wire brushes the Dollar Tree sells? I couldn't find it on uh, Dollar Tree's website, so I just went online and looked. And they have a little tiny bend in them, you know what I mean? Um, I'm tr I tried to find one that was very, very similar online just to show you a picture because I'm sure the Dollar Tree still has them. I mean, they've had them for years. But see how that, it's similar to that, but it mine's more like, um, like a rocking chair foot. It's more, uh, the Dollar Tree one's more rounded, but, um, like I said, I'm sure they still have them, but I just wanted to show you something equivalent because I don't have the stuff anymore, you know, anyway, and those, I get those from Walmart, that's from Walmart, there, it says it's $1.88 online, I pay $2 for three of those in dial rods, I bought four or five packs of them, and this is what I'm going to use, okay, so, I put two complete long ones, they're 12 inches long, on the back side, and then I cut one and a half, six inches, and I put them on the front, and I put, made sure they're even, I only use hot glue and wood glue, to hold them down. Now right here I'm taking another piece of one of those dowel rods. And I'm measuring out how far it needs to be to fit in between those two. Because I want it to look like a real rocking chair y'all. And so I'm taking wood glue and wood glue hot glue. <clears throat> excuse me right here. And I'm putting it together. And now when I glued it down the, the long parts and the shorter part. When I glued it on that. See, I pulled all the steel things out of that wire brush, and I filled the holes with wood tint, no, wood 
filler, and I sanded it down. So it left me with my little rocking chair thing there. You know what I mean? And trust me, it took a minute to pull all those brushes, those wire brushes off those gazillion holes and fill it full of uh, wood putty. Anyway, so right here, I'm just tacking it down, making sure it stays. And then I'm going to take masking tape and wrap it around it and leave it for a few hours so it can dry. So, Because that's going to pull that tight against the side because there's nothing holding it up um you know what i mean so then i'm going to take um some paint stir sticks now i'd already cut the handle off these and i'm going to cut them at eight inches eight inches i was told that i don't tell enough details with my diys and where i get my things and i think i always try to tell y'all where i got it at and the if I didn't get it at the Dollar Tree, i tell you where I got stuff. And I try to show you the SKU numbers. But we're just going to go on now. Anyway, and I take four of them. And I take wood glue and hot glue. And I glue them across to make my seat. Then I take the other six because I used all ten of them. And I'm going to glue them at the back side. Look, they're staying because they're so light with that wood glue and that wood glue hot glue on there. Just take them all the way up the back of my rocking chair. <laughs> Y'all, this is adorable. I love it. I hope y'all like it, too. I think my favorite's to scale, though. I don't know. That's why I put it first. But anyway, I'm taking two more of those dowels, and I cut them down. Now, yours may be different length. I don't know. Mine actually was one a little bit shorter than the other to cut it. So, you know what I mean? I can't give you length on that. But I'm going to take these dowel rods and put them across the front there. You know how a rocking chair has the little, and everybody puts their feet back and props their feet on it and then rocks real hard and see if you can tip the chair. That's what we did when we were little. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, yeah, I'm just taking dowel rods and I'm laying them down there so I can measure them out to see, you know, what the distance is. And I just cut them down with my miter shears. Y'all, I sound like a man when I talk. My voice has been awful with my allergies. This is embarrassing. Mm. Anyway, y'all see what I'm doing there? Now, I'm going to take my antique wax. I'm telling you what, I appreciate you sending that to me because I'm using the tar out of that stuff. Yeah, I am. Anyway, so I'm just going to stain my entire chair. Now, I thought it was adorable like that. And I kind of wish I would have left it brown because I think it looked more realistic. But I wanted to make it like... I did like a really, really, really heavy dry brush because I wanted that brown to come through. And I think it's adorable like this too, but I wanted it to look old and rustic. But I think it was so cute when it was just stained, but I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. Now, there you go. You can take one of those little things from the Dollar Tree and put bird seed in there and make it a bird feeder outside. I think that would be so cute. You know, those little bottle cap things. Yeah, and the, or you can make it a plant stand. I mean that that one's way too big. Please, y'all go check her out. Please go watch her. You will not be disappointed. I love y'all. Bye. Oops. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got one of those signs from the seashore or whatever thing it was at the Dollar Tree. And there's a skew number, and I'm just gonna take my cricket. Uh, spatula and take that word home off of it and i'm going to remove the frame and all the staples and the rope and stuff from the back um i just applied a little bit of heat and went up under there and like i tell you it came off really easy i've done it before and it's been tough to get off and um the paper just started coming off with it and i was like lord you can't beat that with a stick now can you nope anyway good deal pickle um, I know I say anyway a lot, y'all. I'm going to make a shirt that just says anyway and put Kathy Joe DIYs on it. Or let's get on with the video. I did buy some shirts to make you guys. But anyway, I painted the frame black and I put it on masking tape and then I just taped it over there to dry. Anyway, I know, right? I am so hillbilly, but that's okay with me. Anyway, I'm going to spray that, um, Gorilla, um... Spray, it's heavy duty, uh, adhesive spray. I was trying to think of what the name of it was. To my little um, sign, the back of my little sign there. And then I'm just going to flip it upside down on that dirty uh, cra or paper, craft paper. Because um, you're not going to be able to see it. Because the other side of the craft paper was still clean. So I just rub it down real good. Take my craft knife, my little cricket knife, whatever. It's not an exacto knife, I reckon. And cut the paper away from it. Okay, now, 
Well, left a lot of that in, didn't I? Well, well, I'm just going to search in my drawers and let y'all watch me search in my drawers. I don't know, y'all. So I'm going to take some saran, some saran wrap there and have it ready because this, y'all, was so beautiful. Y'all, oh my gosh. I put a thin layer of Mod Podge on there. Yeah, and um, just really, really thin because I'm going to be decoupaging me a napkin on that. And this napkin is beautiful. Diane Cassidy sent it to me. I've been waiting to use it, and I think this is a good deal. Well, I'm sorry. I, I meant to delete all that, but I sure left that in there. But now y'all know how I use my Mod Podge and what I do. Um, sometimes we go so fast, y'all miss that stuff, and we leave that stuff out. But look at that. Look at me go. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been waiting to use this napkin. Y'all, I always keep, like, saran wrap laying around, and... I wrap my brushes when they're wet with, like, paint or Mod Podge or anything in that saran wrap. And I got to tell you what, it stays for a whole week. If I'm down here a whole week, I keep using the same brush over and over. There's the napkin, y'all. Sorry about the Mod Podge incident. Now I'm going to take me some uh, masking tape. Yeah, one of y'all told me to use scotch tape. I didn't have any, so I used masking tape. And, y'all, this is like a breeze. It separates the... um plaza those napkins like nothing i mean and i've always fussed with them but this look at that are you kidding me wow anyway i let my mod podge dry y'all i let it dry until it dried <laughs> oh goodness and i'm gonna laugh y'all anyway i just laid my little napkin down there isn't that beautiful love that napkin and i'm gonna take me some heat i don't know i think it's called heat transfer tape I, I mean, I, I think that's what it's called. I got it, That's Cricut brand. I got it at Michael's, y'all. But I heard you can get it really cheap on Amazon. I don't know. I need to look. And I'm going to take my parchment paper. Now, look. I set my press for 40 seconds at 350 degrees. And um, I don't know how much you're supposed to put it on. I've never been told, but that's what I do. And I iron my napkin. Now, look. I forgot to put my heat pad down. And... There you go. I warped my my mat again, but oh well, it happens. So I'm just putting some weight on it right there because y'all saw it curve up whenever the heat got to it, right? Anyway, and I'm going to put my frame back on. Now, the frame was a little bit smaller than the, the picture. I know that doesn't make any sense, but t trust me. Um, it was crooked when I took it off. But I'm going to straighten it up here best I can. And I just take some wood glue and I glue it down. Because that way when I put it down, if I put it in the wrong spot, I got time to move it. Because anytime I do it with hot glue, I can jack some stuff up now. I'm telling you what. Anyway, and then after it dried, I just took that ink chalk paint and painted that frame where it was showing to kind of make it blend in. I mean, it wasn't showing a lot, but there's a little bit of white there. Enough to get on my nerves. So here I'm taking um, 8, 10, and 12 millimeter beads. And I'm taking four of each size and i put them on some pop cleaners i like to do it this way too it's easy to paint them especially if you're painting a bunch of different colors i paint four of them black i paint four of them yellow and i paint four of them white yep that's what i do and y'all this is so this makes me so sad i'm telling you, i was so devastated y'all y'all gonna be like <gasps> can't believe she done that anyway I forgot to Mod Podge the top of my napkin. So when I put my vinyl on there, that transfer tape totally ripped my napkin. Y'all, I almost cried. Um, look, I mean, oh my gosh. I kept it. I'm going to redo it, but I literally almost cried. Look at that. <gasps> oh, no. And the picture says, pray hardest when it's hardest to pray. Lord, I needed some prayer because I'm telling you, I everything went wrong in this video. I messed it up. So, just wait and see. I'm telling y'all. I can't think straight. So, I put my beads on. And I tied a knot. And I took a piece of craft paper. And I hot glue it down. And I put the craft paper over top of it. To try to make the knot blend in better. But I think it looks worse that way. So... I don't know. That's what I did. Now, y'all, you ready for this? <laughs> Look. 
<laughs> you got. I can't even win myself. Jeez. No, I cannot even with myself. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I don't know how I get anything done. I got it glued on right. Now I'm going to take me some ribbon. And I, and I know that's blue in it, but it's dark blue. I mean, so I'm making a messy bow, so it's going to look fine. And I know that's honeycomb bee ribbon, but, you know, it's going to be hanging on my wall. And bees like flowers. And I'm going to take some gingham ribbon. And all these ribbons from Dollar Tree, except... For the burlap ribbon. Burlapfabric.com sent it to me. But you can get burlap ribbon at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. So, I just take a couple pieces of that. And one of them I cut in half. Um, and you just throw your stuff about. Get it all mixed up. Because you don't want it to be like, you know. You just want no rhyme or reason to it. Can't find the words. Anyway, words y'all. On that struggle bus. And you just cross it and then put X, X, and one down the center. X, X, and one down the center. In just a random pattern. And take your, um, I'm taking jute twine this time, y'all. And I'm going to tie it up in the middle and double knot it. And then I'm going to grab it together like, <clears throat> excuse me, like you would a tassel. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fussing with that thing. Yeah, and anyway, grab it together like that and just cut it off and even up the best you can. I end up cutting some of it later, too. I mean, that's just, if there's random wonky pieces hanging out and about, I just trim them down. And um, I took hot glue and glued it to my little picture there. See, I can just take the hanger and the, and the bow off when I redo it. And, um, and I trimmed it some more, see? Oh, and then I got those beautiful sunflowers from the Dollar Tree. And I for, they're stickers, and I forgot to show you all the SKU number, and I'm so very sorry. Anyway, I'm just going to take one little tiny one and hot glue it to the center of my bow. And that was it, y'all. And I think it it's still pretty, but it could have been absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you. Y'all, will you pray for my mama? She's got COVID, and my daddy does too, and I'm just like... I'm just worried to death about them. Anyway, y'all, right here, I don't know. I said that scale was my favorite. This one, uh, this one's y'all. Y'all's going to love this. So I take them wood plaques there from the Dollar Tree. I got one that's kind of squarish, and the other one's got that shape. Two of them's got that shape. And I just paint the sides of them where it's routed black. Now, y'all, I get this book. I get it from Walmart. I get a lot of scrapbooking books from Walmart. I paid $5 for it. There's what kind it is. And I'm going to go in there because look at how pretty that stuff is. There's a piece that looks like a newspaper. You see that? But I already used one. And I used part of one for something else. So I'm just going to take my plaques. I mess up here, y'all, too. I I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just used the other paper because my newspaper is sideways on those two plaques. But it don't matter. It's farmhouse. It's rustic. And I love it. But I thought it'd be cool to make it look like old newspaper there. And I just cut it out the best I could. Traced it and cut it out the best I could to the shape. Because that card, it's card stock, uh, scrapbook and paper, whatever. And it's kind of thick. It's thicker than the stuff you get, like, at Hobby Lobby. So it's harder to sand off. And I know, especially with having a routed area, it would be. So I use a decent amount of Mod Podge there, y'all see. But I'm constantly pressing it down real good. I press it and press it. And I take my little finger sander. And I sand it. See, it's harder to sand off. And I use my highest grit of uh, sandpaper. I think it was uh, 80. Yeah, it was, or 60 maybe. I don't know. But you see those little teeny tiny eye hooks? I actually got them at a Goodwill. And I'm going to, like, if you put it down and pound it with your hammer, it's easier to just screw it in. And I'm going to put one on every one of them. <clears throat> and I'm going to take some jute twine. And that's a thicker one I got from the Walmart. And I'm going to uh, make a lark's head knot, run it through there. But I'm going to kind of do it to where I can hide the hook. Um, if you see what I'm talking about here. That happened to be a bad piece of jute, of course. But run it through there. And then take your two, you know, leftover string things. Pull it through there. And you just pull it up real tight. And you push that down over 
hooks or whatever you're doing and it covers it up. On my cricket, I cut out the cutest little chicken, cow, and pig. The pig is just too much, y'all. <laughs> I can't even with him. He's so cute. Oh, my goodness. He's just adorable. Anyway, I'm just going to um, put them on my little things and burnish them down real good. And I'm going to take some burlap. And I got that at the Hobby Lobby. And I got it really cheap, you guys. Maybe two bucks. Now, I cut uh, one-inch strips of the burlap. And then I cut them four uh, inches long. Now, see, so I wouldn't forget. Y'all, if you recreate this, you should cut it six inches long. Because that burlap is hard to tie. So then I just take some of that, um, that buffalo check pattern I got from the uh, fabric I got from the Dollar Tree and I cut a lot of it and I cut it one inch wide six inch strips and I'm going to take a piece of nautical rope there and I'm going to take my little plaques and put them eight inches apart so I just laid it there on my mat to count it out and then I'm going to tie them really good a double knot onto my nautical rope they ain't going nowhere y'all then I just start tying my fabric on a buffalo check, and then a uh, burlap. And I just keep doing that. Now, at the end, when I was done, I didn't do it on the end pieces until the end. And I took six pieces, six burlap, six buffalo check, and glued them at the ends of each uh, rope there. So, anyway, I know y'all didn't want to watch me tie all that up. Trust me, I, I fuss with it being so short. You need to make it longer. Anyway, I didn't think I showed this much of it either, but I guess I did. Because you can actually make that uh, buffalo check face forward with the, way, with the way you tie it. And see, then I take and just pull the little threads apart with the burlap because I want it to look all rustic and stuff. Yeah, and making you dizzy with my camera. And right here, I'm just cutting off that tape that was holding that uh, stuff together. And I just make a little loop, and I take that jute twine... And I wrap it around that little loop to make me a little uh, loop to hang it from. Hang it on each side. And y'all, this is so cute. Mm. I'm telling you. It is so, so cute. But then at the end, I put a dab of hot glue under the double knot that I tied. Because I want to make sure that does not go anywhere. Because it's heavy. Not only with the wood plaques, but then with the all that material. It's, it's heavy, y'all. And I can't tell you how much I use, and plus yours might be different. You just never know with how you tie on your burlap and your fabric. But I'm going to make each of them a little bow um, and put it on them with that buffalo check. And then I'm going to take that thing from the Dollar Tree, and I wrap my jute around it 25 times. And I do that twice. And I'm going to take that farmhouse ribbon and some gingham ribbon and put them together and go make me a tassel. Just put a string down the middle of it. Tie it up in a double knot. Um, then take more jute and tie it together at the top and wrap it around and around and around and around and around and around and tie it together. Oh, that worked out perfect. I can't believe that, y'all. And then trim off your ends. <clears throat> and I glued a uh, gingham ribbon around where the knot is, where you wrap it around with the jute. And tie it to the end of my little swag there. You guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this, how cute. I am in love. I am so in love. Look at that. I, Y'all, y'all, come on now. I hope y'all like it. Anyway, sorry, I'm thirsty. I showed it to you long. Look at that pig, y'all. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Wilbur. Okay, y'all, right here, I got two frames from the Dollar Tree. They're those uh, double glass pane frames. I don't know what they're called. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, that sticky tape when I pulled off that paper stuck to mine. So I'm taking some goo gone and I had to take that sticky tape right up off there. But make sure you clean it with alcohol when you're done so the goo gone needs to be removed. And I just cleaned all my glass with some alcohol. And I'm going to take that Buffalo Check vinyl from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put them there side by side because it fit. It was a good fit. And just cut that down. Yeah. 
y'all like, yeah, I know this. I don't know. And I cut a little piece on the side there so I'd know where they were separated. You know what I mean? And I just went by my original cut. It went right down in the middle of that buffalo chip. I don't know. Y'all just cut it. <laughs> I sometimes over explain. Anyway, I'm going to put my glass frame, that buffalo check vinyl on my glass frame. Y'all, good golly. This is a long one too, ain't it? I missed last week though. I was busy with the holidays and stuff and I haven't been feeling great. Y'all know this and i just going to tell y'all my business again. How to go get my glasses. Anyway, um, doctor's appointments. I just take my craft knife and cut away that extra buffalo check it's on there now i found this big leaf and it was really really big so i just decided to make smaller leaves out of it found it in my floor <laughs> jesse probably got it from somewhere anyway and i'm gonna take those um beautiful little stickers i think they're gorgeous and like i said this is something that will go from summer into fall i think in my opinion and i'm just gonna put my little stickers down i don't hot glue them down i just lay them on there just cut extra leaves and i just think this is just something cute this is so easy y'all so easy i mean i'm not used to doing things this easy here on my channel and but i'm gonna over film it and unedit it and i'm gonna do me you know how i'm gonna do my editing's terrible I think I need a class. Anyway, I just put my frame on my other glass on top of it, put it in my frame, flipped it upside down, twisted the little lock things on it, locking mechanisms, and then I'm going to take these transfers from Dollar Tree. I already used part of it, so I don't have the SKU number anymore. And um, I'm going to cut the welcome off one, or not the welcome off one, just the welcome off. I'm going to put welcome on one and home on the other. And y'all, that's it. These are just too easy. And I, oh, I do take a popsicle stick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, see, rub my letters down. Yeah, I love those transfers, y'all. I wish they had big ones. I'm not going to go pay a bunch of money for some big ones. I just, I need, yeah, I'd love to, but I just, you know, I can't. I'm too cheap. Anyway, here they are. I'm sorry it's so dark. I Mama lights went out. I'm waiting on another, and I ordered three, and then one was really small. It was funny, y'all. But anyway, I think they're pretty, and there they are. And that's something so simple that you can dress up your, your decor with. I mean, it's beautiful, and that was my plan to hang the three together. Okay, y'all, right here. Um, I got two tags from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to take that little pick. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It's like the cricket pick and pick my little stars off, but I'm going to save those for later. And I have to pull the paper off around the edge because I hate when it sticks out. It just don't look good to me. It just, I don't know. It bugs me. I feel like it looks tacky. I don't know. If it don't bother y'all, don't do it because I'm crazy. But anyway, I mean, seriously, I'm crazy. But anyway, so I painted them in plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And then I changed my mind and I went back and painted them white with uh, Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. It's what it did. Oh, wow. Kathy Joe. Good gravy. Y'all don't know how to paint, do you? I didn't think you did. I thought that, you know, I'll do other things really, really quick and edit them out and forget to put stuff in. So y'all was like, oh, what'd she do there? But I know y'all needed to know how to paint. That's just how it is. Oh, I wasn't even painting. I was putting Mod Podge on. <laughs> I was being sarcastic to myself. Put my Podge on there, and I'm going to put that Buffalo Check paper on there that I got from the Hobby Lobby. Now, it didn't go all the way up. I'm just going to cut it free here because I'm going to want to use some of that later. i got a bunch of little pieces. But anyway, so I'm just going to send it down there with my finger sander I got from Amazon. It's in my Amazon store, y'all. And um, I did fix my P.O. box in my description box, y'all. Anyway... So, I'm just putting Mod Podge on the top, and I was going to line it up there so it match. Now, look. I'm like, okay, this is good. But look at the pattern going all the way down the sign, and then look at how I put it on there. It was straight. It was good. It's flawless. You can't even tell that there was a crack there until you see what I did. That's goofy. <laughs> but thank goodness you can't really tell. You can't really see it. Anyway, and I just put Mod Podge on top of it, and I'm going to cut pieces down here. One ended up being about one and a half inches, and the other was two. The two inch one I put at the bottom with some Mod Podge, and the one inch one I put at the top. And then I'm just going to 
I thought I put them on there, put more Mod Podge on there, let it dry. See, see how the patterns <laughs> Oh goodness, y'all. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna take some glue here. I took my craft knife and cut the hole out, but take some a glue stick here and just flip it over there on my paper and cover up them backs. Y'all know I like to cover up that ugly. Anyway, it just makes the back look so much better. So Take your craft knife there and cut that mace off. Yep. Anyway, y'all, I got two of these from the Dollar Tree when I went shopping with um, Shelly Craig when I took her, her uh, Easy Press. Anyway, that, that's it. That's all I know about it. <clears throat> and there's the SKU number. Now, I think this really has some potential and I think what I did makes it look nice. Now I try to roll it up like a wreath would be and that stuff was not having it. It was like no, uh-uh, I don't go that way. You're just twisting my bones and breaking my back because I couldn't get it to wrap. It kept sticking together and I was getting very frustrated. <laughs> anyway, so I take that black jute that burlapfabric.com sent me and because I'm going to make my own wreath because I wanted a pattern and I wanted it to be nice. I didn't want it to just be crazy uh, leaves may, uh, go, maybe going everywhere. You know what I mean? So then I pull them all off the thing and I take hot glue and I just start gluing them down. And, you know, some you glue on top of the other. But you're going to want to cut those. It's got little stem like coming out on it. Three on each one. And then I cut the ends off of it where I pulled it off the pick. So that way it just looks like a piece of greenery and not fake. Anyway, and made my wreath that way. So the home sign, I took off of the little square sunflower sign I made. I took my dauber and I dub 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 uh ink by Waverly on it. And I gave it two coats. And then I take a real small brush and I take my um Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint and I make stitching on my word home. I think this is cute. Then I take another piece of that burlap. And I fold it to make it look like a. Sorry I'm way out of frame down there guys. To make it look like a little banner. You know what I mean? And just glued it to my wreath. And then I glued my word home to my wreath. Y'all this is so cute. I think. And I'm just going to take and line them up. Line the hole up. And hot glue them together there. Yeah. And take some more of that black jute, little lark's head knot, tie a knot at the top of it. And I fuss back and forth over bows. I have like 12 bows made that I'm not using. And uh, I was like, I don't know. But, y'all, this is it. And I think it is so cute. What do y'all think? Isn't it adorable? I know, right? <laughs> I think so. I still think it needs a bow. But see, you can't even tell that I messed up that pattern on it. Okay, y'all, this is a long one. Right here, I got two of those little um, mason jars from the Dollar Tree. Now, that little book of paper, I actually got from Myers for $2.97. And it's all like gray neutrals, because y'all know I love gray. And look at that beautiful paper. So, I end up taking that pretty paper and putting Mod Podge on my mason jar. I took the flowers off with my heat gun and sanded it all down real good and put my piece of paper down on it. <clears throat> And then I got a little crate, and I paint it completely white, inside, outside, upside, downside, all of it. And I paint the sides of my mason jar white. Y'all should do that before you actually put your paper on, but you know me. Anyway, and I take some more of that paper, and I put it on the first and last little, uh, yeah, that. You see what I mean? Yeah. And I do it to each side. Yeah. And then I take two of those little tags that I got from the Dollar General. Dollar General. Y'all saw me use them in my last video. And I'm going to take mineral chalk paint. And I'm going to paint both of them. <clears throat> and there I'm. I'm oh, I'm taking elephant chalk paint and distressing my little. Y'all's like, no. See, my light kept going out. Anyway, it's dark now. Um, I cut little teeny tiny strips and I'm going to put them on my tags to make it look like flower sack lines and just different cute little stuff. And I do different designs for each tag. I know, I'm extra, but you know. Ugh. And I take that, that, rub off, rub off, rub on transfer from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take the word kitchen and put 
I have to use two packs of them, y'all. So you have to have two packs if you're going to do it. And I put the word kitchen, one on each side. And remember, if y'all recreate any of my DIYs, email them to me. So I can showcase them on here, please. Anyway, see, it says kitchen. Oh, and then I took the word recipes and put them on each of my little tags. Because that's what this is going to be, a little recipe holder. And I couldn't find my um, index cards, but the index cards fit right down in there. And you can just write your recipes on it and stick it down in there. Y'all, it's so cute. Anyway, I ran that baker's twine, that grand white baker's twine, up under the baker's twine that I wrapped around the top of the faux mason jars. And I hung my little tag from it, and I just tacked it down there because I didn't want it to go anywhere. And I hot glued each mason jar to each end of that little crate. You all, this is so cute. I know I've said that about every one of them, but I love everything in this video. Look how cute that is. Well, maybe. Look, there's, there's a little side view of it. Those rubble and transfers. There it is. Look how adorable, y'all. And I just dressed it, of course, because that's my style, but y'all don't have to do it. But I think this thing is just too much. I do. Oh, my goodness. Go on with yourself, Kathy Joe. Here's everything, y'all. Everything. I'd love to know what you all think. Do you all love that scale as much as I do? Do you all love that swag as much as I do? Just remember, y'all, if you want to get in the giveaway for the calendars, um... I'll announce the win. Just put calendars in your comment, and I will announce the winners next Friday, July the 15th of 2022. This is a long one, y'all, and y'all, please go check out Brenda. Some of y'all may already know her, I'm sure. If you don't, you need to. You seriously will not be disappointed. Please go check her out. I love you guys so very much, and I thank you for everything. Y'all remember that little white shelf I made? Look here, Linda Collins made one, and it is adorable. She put little stickers on hers, and she made it for her little granddaughter, Mary Lee. And that's who I was saying hi to at the beginning of the video. I hope you like your shelf, Mary Lee. I was just showing you mine. Hers is better. Hey, thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you stick around and watch and enjoy. Today is a collaboration with my friend Brenda. I love her, y'all. From Rustic and Lace DIYs, I watch all of her videos. I think she's absolutely amazing. I'm going to have her video in my description box, and we'll talk more about her later. And some other things, y'all. Anyway, if you like the video, I never say this, please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. And I hope you all enjoy today's decor. I love y'all. Bye. Nope, nope, nope. Messed up, nope, nope, nope. Messed up. Boop, 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 boop. These new glasses, they're supposed to be glare proof, and but it's like glaring there. And I, I guess I can take them off. Yeah, I can do that. Anyway, I hope you stick around and stay a while, and I hope you enjoy the video. What am I doing? Hey, y'all. Thanks for clicking on my video. My name's Kathy Jo, and this is my channel. On my channel, we have a lot of laughs. We have a lot of fun, and that's not going to change for anything, for nothing. Anyway, I just want everybody to know that. No, that's not good. Let's not do that. I usually just do one take and move on. I don't care if I mess up or not. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. Dog's about to knock me down for one. And now I can't see. Let me try again. Maybe if I step back fur further. Y'all on my shoes. Stop. This is better. Yeah. This is better. But then I got the TV right there. Let's see if I can move this. Like... That's in the way. Try it now. That's better. Okay. Oh, I didn't stop it. Okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, because we got the window, and that's pretty. Yeah. Okay. Dogs, come on now. 
Hey y'all, my name is Kathy Jo. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, today we have a lot of farmhouse DIYs. Here's some of them y'all can see in the background. I'm very proud of them. This one I'm in love with y'all. In love. But today I'm collaborating with my friend Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIYs. Y'all, she is phenomenal. She should be way bigger than what she is. And I love her and her DIYs are just just awesome. They really, really are. And I told her I was jealous. I didn't want to collaborate with her today because I saw her DIYs and they were better than mine. But, you know, you know, people are better than you. I mean, that's just how it is. But anyway, but we still strive to do our best, don't we? Anyway, let's talk more about Brenda later. I love y'all and her channel will be in my description box. Don't forget that. Please, y'all go check her out. Please go watch her. You will not be disappointed. I love y'all. Bye.